friends, it's Nancy, and I thought I would just turn on the camera and do a little craft with me. Uh, so I was watching videos last night, and, sorry, I'm just reaching for some paper, and I watched a video um, from Two Silver Oranges, and she had used a postcard to make an ephemera holder. Her process was completely different. She she cut the postcard into slits and, and stuff like that. And I thought, you know, that's a good idea because I have a shoebox, literally a shoebox, full of ugly postcards. So um, I've attached the front collage to uh, an old postcard so that uh, you, you can journal on the back but it still has these little vellum envelopes that are not envelopes but uh, pockets that you can slide little bits and pieces into um, to embellish uh, a page or keep little keepsakes little photos um, so I'm going to take you through my process and, um, help you not make the same mistakes I have. <laughs> Believe me, I've made some. So I'll just put that aside and I'm going to start with a piece of paper. And this is just a roll of paper. I think it's masking paper, uh, for, um, painting. Um, now, if you're like me, and I hope you are because that'll make me feel less lonely, um, you also have a bunch of ugly postcards. So I've got a selection here. So, like, this is a postcard of a painting, um, from a Paris museum, I guess. So, uh, 1974. So I will use one of these. Oh, here's an ugly one. <laughs> this is a hotel in Florida. We'll use that one. So what I want to do first is uh, just sort of grab my big scissors and, and cut. I don't know quarter inch bigger on each side. Um, I also keep junk mail. Um, so this, these are security envelopes that have been tea dyed. So that's what I want to use to make the, the background collage. Um, I also keep, uh, like when I get um, a collection of stamps, sometimes they will, the stamps will still be on the envelopes. So I will keep the little pieces of envelope because there's hundreds of different kinds of security envelopes like this one's beautiful um there's different colors this one has horses on it so there's lots of, this one's a different color um so there's lots of different patterns and pieces so i keep i keep those as well I'll save the bigger pieces for a different project and we'll use some of these scraps up. Some of them are not tea dyed and that's okay too. I wonder how this got stuck shut. Looks like it was a return envelope. Oh, I must have cut the end open.
if I can use that. So bear with me while I do a little bit of tearing. And you can decide how big how big you want to make the pieces, how small you want to go. I don't want a lot of white showing, so I'm going to tear backwards. Um, and some chunks I I'm not going to want to be torn. I can I can deal with them being square. So I'm putting that aside and that aside. Boy, I'm noisy. Okay, so I'll just use my glue stick and uh, just start in one corner and lay on as many pieces as I need to cover it up. Now, if you don't have security envelopes, um, why not try um, just different book pages with different fonts? different languages. Maybe we'll do one of those too, depending on how much time we have. Just to see what it looks like. So it's Sunday. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. Um, I went to see, I don't think I've talked to you about seeing Nana because I, I don't think I've done a video since I've seen her. So I went on Wednesday and she was, she was okay. I wasn't, I was, I had been led to believe that she was in bad shape. So, um, she was tired, but, you know, she was happy to see me, and, uh, I said, well, I'll come, she wants to, uh, crochet some dishcloths, I think, or knit some dishcloths. First I thought she said crochet, then yesterday she clarified she wants to knit. So, um, I said, well, I'll come back on the weekend with some cotton yarn. So I actually I happened to find some the cotton yarn at the thrift store last week. So I uh, I took that to her yesterday. So yesterday she was a little grumpy. Um, she had had a bad morning with her uh, her personal support worker, and that kind of set her off for the day. I'm not liking any of these. Well, here's one that has a rose. Why not? I'm hesitating now. And she had lost her reacher grabber stick thing that she depends on. She couldn't find it. I ripped her bed apart, ripped her side of the room apart, couldn't find it. So I called Doug, who was visiting his mom, and I said, bring this lady a new stick. My mom happened to have a spare one, so he went over and got a spare one for her. I think I just got my head in the camera shot. Sorry about that. Um, it's 
So I left her in a better, better mood than she was when I got there. And she has not lost her hearing aid. She just chooses not to wear it. If anybody wants to talk to her, they can just yell. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's a little narrow. What's this? Oh, I liked this. Maybe I'll put it down there. on the floor now. So if I want to go and see her again next weekend, I'll have to get tested again this week, which might be a challenge because the testing is gone through the roof because We've had a new surge in cases in Ontario. In fact, um, the premier yesterday announced that we were going back to stage two in terms of restrictions. So, hmm. I think I got it covered now. Yep. is unfortunate. Because it would be really nice to get back to normal. But at least I won't be a nervous wreck. <laughs> Because I've already had it done. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so hot in her room yesterday. She's freezing cold. Which I presume would be natural for somebody who's darn near 104 years old. So she had the heat on. And of course I have to be masked, gowned, and gloved in order to go into her room. And... And maybe I'll use this piece of gray. And uh, she has a, a thermometer on her table next to her. And it was 29 degrees in her room. Or sorry, 27 degrees. <laughs> so when I left, there was a, a little lady out sort of in the... Hmm, wish I'd gone a little longer. In the uh, common area. And she, she, I took off my gown, threw it in the trash while I, before I left, and, she, and I was wearing a sleeveless shirt. And she said, aren't you cold? And I said, um, I have a sweater in the car, but believe me, I was not cold. It was 27 degrees in her room. <laughs> Really? My room is cold, she says. <laughs> okay.
So if I have a pencil handy, I will grab a pencil. That's not a pencil. These are pens. Huh. Oh. No, it's pencil. <laughs> it's a mechanical pencil. All right. You're going to have a hard time seeing this pencil line, but it's there. Now, I have some vellum. And it's quite a heavy piece of vellum, actually. If you don't have vellum, you could use a piece of acetate. Um, sorry, I'm fussing, looking for... A ruler. So I'm just going to cut some one inch pieces of this vellum. And it's a little wider than the uh, postcard. Okay, I think three will be enough. So from this pencil line, I'm going to measure down an inch and a half. And on the outside of pencil line, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. So this is this is just to sort of pin it down, and that part will get cut off. Okay, then I'm going to measure down another. Wait a second, another inch and a half. A little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. Another inch and a half. Oh, I forgot to tell you about my freezer and this is weird Doug comes to bed last night wakes me up at 1 30 in the morning the freezer is broken and this is the freezer in the fridge so how the fridge is working and the freezer's not I don't know and I said well I'm not doing anything about it at 1 30 in the morning so we cleaned it out this morning when we got up okay so um I mean, I could go either way. I mean, I could I could theoretically put another band here, I guess. But I'm going to turn this upside down. And I'm just going to stitch along the edge of this vellum. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause. Okay. So I've just stitched, oh, an eighth of an inch from the bottom edge. And... I'm going to do a little cutting now. So I'm going to lay my ruler right against that pencil line. Okay.
So we got her cleaned up and everything pulled the fridge out away from the wall and scrubbed the floor underneath it and threw out all the thawed food. Ugh. We didn't swear at each other once and Doug only ga gagged once. So that was pretty good. That's pretty good for us. Alternately, I could have glued this onto the postcard and cut around it. Which one was I using? That wasn't it. Is it this one? No? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, it was an ugly Florida one, wasn't it? An ugly hotel. Oh, there it is over here in this pile. Okay. Uh, so um, I could have, and I might need to glue this on and do some trimming. Might be a little bit long. Anyway, so I will. Put some glue on here. Works good. Okay. Now, next, I am going to sew all the way around. Okay. So I just tied the loose threads down here at the bottom, and I'll clip those short. I, uh, and there you have it. I could ink this. I'm not going to right now. I will wait until I have some idea of how I'm going to use it. Um, grab some ephemera here. Um, so I got a couple of butterflies. What else have I got here? Oh, it's a crazy squirrel. There's a little stamp. There's a picture of some perfume bottles. Little advertisement. there so maybe we'll grab a little stamp oh we did use a stamp oh well we can use another stamp Emily Dixon Dickinson always did like pigs so yeah so isn't that fun um, how much time have we used? Well, I think we could do one fast if we tried. So, 
this time. on it. I don't think that'll matter, but I'm going to take it off anyway. I think that's Windsor Castle. might use that shoe. Okay, so start by, and these are just book pages that I've torn out and I thought because they were interesting or whatever. Um, this one actually has a stain on it. This is from a book about speed writing. I'd better. this side better. You gotta look at both sides. Maybe this time we'll go this way. Um...
was just a fussy cut from a book. So now I'm just going to do the same thing with the stitching. Oh, it won't pause. Come on. Okay. So I've attached it to the postcard, stitched around it, and on the this um, landscape version, I've only got two pockets, so let's fill those up. Um, this is a little image from a book about collecting sheet music. And um, this is um, the end of a box from uh, piano roll music. A little cut out from somewhere, not sure where. And a bottle of perfume. This is a little cut out from a book. So you can really, this is a little um, Tim Holtz paper doll. So you can really fill up these pockets. Um, these, these are stamps. Uh, this one's Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. And this one is Little House on the Prairie. I think we'll put just one in and here's a little shoe box we could use something taller here what have I got what have I got Let's cut flowers. It's a little tall. There's lead three little kids at the beach. find anything quickly. Well, he's just stamp. We can use a stamp. We can always use a stamp. Oh, a picture of an egg and a feather. Nope, too much square. Too much square going on. With the kids up here, I'm going to put this little flourish in there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching this and it gave you a couple of ideas for some things that you could make. Um, I could make these all day long. And in fact, I might. Uh, <laughs> so thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you again soon.